Hey guys, what up? I am back today with a classic matte brown smoky eye tutorial. I did one of these when I first started YouTube, but I thought I'd refilm it as a talk through since you guys seem to really dig the last one. If you have a deeper skin tone, I would suggest using one shade darker of everything I used and even consider maybe throwing some color in there. Just use the same technique and you should be good to go. All right. On to the talk through. Well, hello again. I am doing my second talk through tutorial. I posted about it on my Facebook page and you guys seemed pretty jazzed about that. So I thought, let's just give this another whirl. Today I felt like superwoman. So I cleaned every single inch of this house. I've been cleaning for like five hours and I'm currently doing laundry. So if you hear that in the background, it's because the washer and dryer are literally right outside this door. Shit's gotta get done around here, you know how it is. Like I said in my intro, today I'm going to be doing a classic matte brown smoky eye. I've done this look on a ton of clients and I wear it myself all the time. I think it's really, really easy to achieve. I've already done my eyebrows and on my face I'm wearing the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation and this is in Buff Beige. I've warmed up my face with a Lorac matte bronzer and on my lips I'm just wearing a nude baby lips lip balm. Okay, let's do this. I've already primed my eye with MAC's Painterly Paint Pot. I normally use soft ochre, but I've been completely neglecting Painterly lately, so I thought I would just give it a little attention. I'm gonna be working mainly with MAC eyeshadows today because I find they're easily accessible to everyone and you can find dupes left, right, and center. You don't have to use MAC eyeshadows, you can use whatever you have on hand. Makeup Geek makes a ton of awesome dupes, but whenever I do one-on-one -on -one lessons, I normally use MAC eyeshadows for this look just because many people have these shades in their collections. Just do you and use whatever you have on hand. So I'm starting out this look by using a dupe for the 217 by MAC. This is by True Fiction. I just got it from a random makeup store in my city. Morphe and Crown Brush also have dupes for the 217 by MAC. I'm going to start out with Wedge by MAC and I'm going to place it into my crease as a transitional shade. Whenever I do a smoky eye, I start with the lightest shade first and then I build my way up. It's always easier to add on more color, but it's always a bitch having to remove eyeshadow when you've packed on too dark of a shade. It's just the absolute worst. All right, next I'm going in with cork with that same brush and this is just slightly deeper than wedge and I'm applying it just below wedge and as you can see I am leaving half of the eyelid bare because I'm going to be applying an even deeper shade after this. This eye by the way is going to appear a little bit lighter because my studio box lighting is right next to me so it's shining light onto this side of my face but not to worry I got this. Next I'm working with a brush that's a little bit more dense and flat and this is a no-name brand. I actually got it in my makeup kit when I first became a makeup artist. I feel a little bit more comfortable using this style of brush when I'm packing on deeper shades. They apply much more neatly and avoid that fallout underneath the eye, and that's the last thing you want with a smoky eye because then you end up looking like a raccoon. And P.S. While I'm on that note, if you have a tendency to get fallout underneath your eye and you want to achieve a really flawless smoky eye, what I would suggest doing is packing some translucent powder underneath your eye, leaving it there so that it collects all the fallout, and then when you're done your look, just brushing it away with a fluffy brush, and that way it'll grab all of the fallout off your face and you won't have to stress out about it. Just a small little tip. I'm now going to apply Espresso, which is a deep chocolate shade, again this is by MAC, to the remaining portion of my lid. And as you can see, I'm just doing padding motions. Whenever I say that I'm packing on a shade, this is likely what I'm doing. Once I feel the shade is securely packed on, I'll do back and forth motions because I won't be as scared about fallout. If you find that you're applying your deep brown eyeshadow a little messily, as I am, don't sweat it. We're gonna go back in and blend it out. 
Okay, coffee break. Say hello to the Pumpkin King. Now I'm taking that same 217 dupe and I'm just going to blend espresso into cork into wedge. It's 10 p.m. at night and I am slamming coffees. And then I ask myself why I have sleeping problems as if it's a mystery or something. Now what I like to do is take a little bit of Embark by MAC. This is a chocolate with almost sort of a red undertone. Gorgeous for smoky eyes. I like to take a little bit of it and I just like to give some more definition to my outer edge and really intensify that outer V. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm dragging it into the crease ever so slightly. And again, I'm gonna take that 217 and just blow that bad boy out. Of course my piece of shit battery died during this portion, but what I did here is I took a little bit of Mylar, which is a nice creamy vanilla shade. I placed it on my brow bone, and then I took Gesso or Gesso, and I placed it just below my brow hairs with a really short, dense brush. So I'm not gonna be doing a winged eyeliner on my top lash line. If you want to, go for it. I just wanna mainly focus on the smokiness of the eyes and add some really dramatic eyelashes with it. However, what I will do today is add some smokiness to my bottom lash line. So I'm going to take the Kat Von D Autograph Pencil in Immortal Love, which is a really deep chocolate brown shade, and I'm just gonna apply it to my waterline as well as my bottom lash line. You can use black if you want, but I'm choosing to stay with a chocolate brown because the eyelids are chocolate brown and I'm kind of just going for a warm look. And then using a MAC pencil brush, I'm just going to smoke that lash line right out. And I'm almost connecting the end of that lash line upwards to create sort of like a circular shape on the edge of my eye. You know what I'm saying? With the same pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with espresso and I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line further. And then with this cute little dome shape brush, I'm taking a bit of cork and I'm gonna apply it just below espresso. So again, there's a nice sort of gradient effect happening. And this brush, by the way, is from the art store. It is by Artists Loft and it's called The Scrumbler. By the way, I get most of my art store brushes from Michaels and I have a video all about it which I will link in the description box below for those of you who haven't seen it. Now, if for some reason I have fallout or I want to brighten the under eye area to make the eyes pop a little further, what I do is take some of this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation and I just pat it underneath my eye. The shade I'm using is Ivory. I really like it because it has a yellow undertone. And the brush that I'm using is a small tapered brush by e.l.f. And this brush, by the way, is Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. The lashes that I'm using today are by Coco Lashes and they're called Risqué. These are absolutely gorgeous and would pair perfectly with a matte smoky eye. I thoroughly enjoy them, so I'm just gonna go off camera and apply these bad boys. Okay, so now I've got my lashes on. Let's just take a minute and absorb what is happening here. How gorgeous are these? I know that I say this every single time I apply a pair of cocoa lashes, but you have to understand when I tell you that they give me life. So as you can see, there's a little bit of glue peeking through because it has not yet dried. So what I like to do is take my Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Eye Booster Pen and I just like to cover up that band a little bit. 
Normally, if I was rocking a winged eyeliner look, I would cover the glue with my NYC liquid eyeliner. But because I've just got the eyelashes on, this has a much finer tip and it will create an almost invisible line. Just like that. For mascara today, I'm going to use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and I'm going to apply it to my top and my bottom lashes. And I'm being pretty generous on my bottom lashes. For blush today, I'm going to use Madly by NARS. I was going through my professional makeup kit and I found this and I haven't used this on myself in a minute. You guys may have noticed I rarely use prestige products like this in my tutorials, but it doesn't mean I don't own them and recommend them. So I've applied the lightest amount possible, but as you can see, what appears in the pan is not what appears on the cheek. Not a lot of people tend to reach for this shade because in the pan it looks kind of meh, but when you pop this little sucker on your cheek, it's a whole other story. I'm not going to use any highlight today, I kind of want my skin to be completely matte, so I'm just going to go over any spots that are a little bit shiny with my NYX powder. Can we please talk about the mutant that has grown next to my mouth? Like who the fuck invited you here, bro? Now, depending on the occasion or your mood, you can either do a nude lip or you can do a super vampy lip. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a nude lip right now and then insert a shot with a vampy lip to sort of show you the contrast. Currently and over the past year, I have been all about the Essence lip liner in In The Nude. I really hope they still make this because it is the titties. And then I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee just in the center of my lip. So uh, yeah, that completes this look. I'm gonna go take a bunch of thumbnail options now. Like I said in my last video, if you guys enjoy these talk through videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, all of the products that I used will be listed in the description box below, along with all of my social media platforms in case you wanna drop me a line. If you guys are still into this whole talk through thing and want me to do a colorful smoky eye, give this video a big thumbs up. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Love you, bye.